The Secret Service has spent the last three weeks apologizing for the massive law enforcement failure that led to the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. And yet a just released Homeland Security internal report reveals another troubling security failure. And that put Vice President Kamala Harris at risk of being injured by a, quote, viable pipe bomb on January 6, 2021, the day of the Capitol riot. The inspector general report finds that then Vice President-elect Harris, traveling in an armored vehicle with her motorcade, came within 20 feet of a pipe bomb that had been planted outside the Democratic Party headquarters the night before. Now, the existence of the bomb and its proximity to VP Harris has been reported before, but this is the first time we're getting real insight into the specific actions taken by the Secret Service that day and details on just how close to danger Harris came. So Secret Service canine teams had swept the area, but they failed to find the bomb, which the report clearly says had the capability to be detonated and kill people. Look at this photo of the bomb taken by plainclothes Capitol Police officers when they discovered it. The bomb is between a bench and bushes, and you have to wonder, how could they have missed that? Now, remember, this was shortly after Capitol Police found a different pipe bomb outside the Republican National Committee building earlier that day. The FBI is still searching for whoever put those bombs there. In the years since January 6, a number of mostly right-wing conspiracy theories surrounding the discovery of the pipe bombs have proliferated online. We're not going to even entertain them. That's not our focus. What is our focus is that these new details about the security failures on January 6 are even a more alarming light because how could you have a working bomb so close to the newly elected vice president without anybody noticing? And Harris was in the DNC building for almost two hours before the bomb was discovered. Now, the new, excuse me, the new report finds that the Secret Service had not employed all its explosive detection tactics and measures for the security sweep and that security sweeps by the Secret Service did not include the outside area of the building where the pipe had been placed. Again, why they didn't find the bomb that was so close to Harris. And the report finds the agency didn't deploy the necessary assets to do a comprehensive sweep, either meaning a technical security division site coordinator or an explosive ordinance disposal team. According to the report, at the time the bombs were found, Secret Service policies required fewer assets for those who'd been elected to an office but not yet sworn in. The agency has since changed its policies to include additional assets for elect protectees, but the question remains, what is going on with the Secret Service, which is arguably one of the most elite protective agencies in the world, and yet now it's been shown not once but twice incapable of detecting a lethal threat against both Republicans and Democrats. Joining me now, Charles Marino, former Homeland Security Advisor, former Secret Service agent. What is going on? I don't get it. Because we see the Secret Service no. has dropped the ball when it came to Trump. Now we see it happening on the other side, too. This is a bipartisan issue. I, it comes after the Secret Service already updated its policies after January 6th. What is going on? It is. This should have both parties very concerned. Look, another security failure, and there's some shared commonalities between what happened on July 13th in Butler, PA. And that is there was attention given to the interior perimeter and the outer perimeter was neglected. Let's remember what happened in Butler. The building placed outside the outer perimeter was never given the attention that it needed. Here, you've got the outside area before going down the driveway, the garage entrance of the DNC building, and same thing, not enough attention given to that outer perimeter and conducting the sweeps that are necessary. And then we hear some of the same excuses for all intents and purposes that we're hearing about July 13th, a lack of resources, the amount of resources that are given to candidates as opposed to sitting uh, officials in the presidency or the vice presidency. And the simple fact of the matter is, why aren't these details being staffed to the threat level? the threat level of the country, the threat level of the person uh, running for office. And, and the answer is they're not, and they haven't been. And that's leading to all of these problems that we're seeing. Is, so now the IG, now the uh, inspector general is also doing a report on July 13th, and it's going to have a lot of similar but, findings to their it, report it, on, it, on January 6th. Is it gross incompetence? Is it a failure in training? What is it, in your opinion? Well, what do you think it could be? Well, it's gross incompetence in terms of how the resources are being managed. And you keep hearing this brought up, a $3.2 billion budget, all of these people being hired, but yet a very high attrition rate, 
Why are so many people leaving at a rate of 48%, which is just astronomical? No, no profession can survive with that amount of uh, staff leaving. So what's the issue? And it must be in the leadership. You've got poor morale. They always rank lowest in the Department of Homeland Security in terms of job satisfaction. Yes, it's a tough job, but people read the brochure when they hire up for the job. So the point is, what is going on that's causing them to leave? What is causing uh, employees to miss these things that they're being well-trained on? I mean, I've gone through this training. You know exactly how to secure a venue. Why so, are these things being missed? That's the number one question. And to put this up, I mean, the, they had investigated threats against them. It dropped by 350 staffers. It's not a budget issue. It's not not having the funds. It's the fact that you're seeing it yourself. Like you mentioned, there is this attrition rate. Uh, we even heard during the hearings from the past two weeks that there is this lack of morale. And it's really concerning to see because I will tell you, this should not be happening. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.